everyone. Welcome to today's live stream. My name is Hani. You can find all the recipes that I will be using today on my blog, hanielas.com. Today, we're going to decorate Valentine's Day cookies using realizing transfers I made last week during the live stream. So, but before we begin, I wanted to say hello to all of you. I already see some familiar faces here. Hello. Bonsoir. Hello, hello. Hi, Camille. How is it going? So happy to see you here. Hi, Byron. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. I can imagine Wisconsin at this time of the year, it's pretty cold, so try to stay warm. Hello to Chattanooga. Hi, Heather. Hello, Sherry. Hi, Jen. How is it going, everyone? Are you guys all adjusted to February? I mean, the time is just passing by so quickly. We are seven days before uh, Valentine's Day. So I think uh, this live stream, it's pretty timely, and I hope you will enjoy it. Oh, wonderful. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Sally. So welcome to today's live stream. Today, like I mentioned, we're going to be making, I decided to do mini heart cookies, but you can obviously make these on a larger, larger scale. I just had baked some uh, heart cookies uh, before, so I wanted to use them and show them how you can use the transfers. Hi, Karen. I hope your flight was okay. So happy you are back. Hello, Judy. You're so kind, thank you. I, I learned a lot from you guys too. Hi, June. I love your new profile picture. Those cookies were wonderful. I hate to see, I mean, I know you, you shared in your Instagram story that you, uh, it was a sample, right? So you had to toss them, but I totally get it, but they are beautiful. Hi, Safira. Hello, Carla, Linda, everybody's here. So happy to see you, everyone. Welcome. Hi, Jeremy. So uh, before we uh, get started official, like with the decorating, those of you who are new to my uh, live stream, we go live every Wednesday on Facebook and YouTube. So if you're not subscribed to Facebook, YouTube, or if you don't follow me on Facebook, please hit that follow button or subscribe button so you get notified about the live stream. You can also sign up to the newsletter. That way you will receive a reminder about an hour before the live stream goes live. And also um, every live stream gets a free live stream recap. This is a PDF that's available in the in my coffee shop. And this week I am announcing um, shop wide sale. All the templates are 30% off. And if you, uh, let me just grab the link uh, for the newsletter because the, the direct, the link, it's uh, only in a newsletter. And also those of you who are already subscribed to the newsletter, um, the link, was also there. So that's only, those are the two places you can get the link with a 30% off in a whole, for the whole store. All right, so I'm putting that in, in the comment section. In the comment section now, it's starting to pop up. Um, that's the link to the free live stream recap newsletter. That's the PDF. You can download it and check it out. And all the links are clickable, so you can see um, the shop wide, say, shop wide sale there and um, everything should be 30% off. Okay, um, all right, so that's that. And also, let me bring up my screen here if I can get, uh, okay, here we go. Let's bring this in. All right, so these are the, remember last week we made, uh, or I made, I don't know if you guys made these as well. Let me know if you attempted to make or if you did make them. Um, yeah, what's, I don't understand what is that. I couldn't get the Valentine's transfers to print. Shoot me, shoot me an email. I don't, I'm not sure I've gotten, yes, I should probably mention, I've gotten a few emails. I don't know if the file was corrupted, but I tried to download it directly from Coffee Shop and it was fine. So I don't know, I don't know what happened, but if you did purchase it, please let me know if you have any issues. I will definitely uh, send you 
um, we will figure it out um, some other way, okay. All right, so these are the templates and I also got this, um, I don't know what would, this is not, it's not glass, but it's like a um, plexiglass, I don't know. Um, it, it's it just, uh, it's a great way to uh, like display my transfers during the live stream. And it also makes for a great um, support for the transfer to dry on. Okay. So um, without further ado, let me remove this screen. And we're gonna go ahead and make the first cookies. So these, like I uh, like I uh, mentioned earlier, oh, what's going on here? Okay, these are minis, but you can do the same thing on a large. I would actually recommend to make them slight, make your cookie slightly larger, but um, you'll get the whole idea. So I'm going to, I'm creating a border here with a lovely teal color. And then we're gonna fill in with um, different shade. So I'm gonna be using, I think, what's going on here? Okay, white. White, or you can use pink, but for this one, I decided to do white. And this is going to be a really easy one because we'll be just dropping those, those transfers onto the icing. Oh, and we have an angry emoji. Oh, K Karen, you're not angry. <laughs> that must be some kind of a mistake. All right. Oh, one, one, only one large stencil would print and not a full page of small. That is so weird. I will, I will, uh, shoot me an email, Caitlin, if you can. I will definitely fix it, fix that, please. No, that, that's not how it's supposed to look. I'm not sure, but you're not the only one. I did send a couple more. Uh, I'm not sure why is that, why that is happening. No, don't worry, Karen. I'm just teasing you. No worries. I understand it's uh, it's very easy to, especially if you're watching on your phone. It's e so easy to to hit the uh, different um, like button. So I completely missed everything. So I piped these large dots or dots of icing. This is wet on wet, and now we're just uh, running the scribe tool through the middle of the dot creating a heart. You see, I'm not really following any any particular direction. I'm trying to make this like really free flowing. This is a very simple design. And then you can you can drop something on some of the transfers onto this cookie, but uh, I'm gonna just leave that plain for now. Okay, so <laughs> this one, hello, hello, hello. Hello, Sne Snezana. Snezana, where are you from, Snezana? I love that name. Very sweet. Hello, Margaret. You're not late. You are just on time. We're just starting. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm outlining. For the outline, I am using about uh, 15 second consistency. You can use slightly thicker because I want the outline to be kind of like visible. I'm not really trying to hide it. It's just going to kind of accentuate the whole design. So it's a nice, um, nice uh, touch. And for the fill, I'm using 15 second consistency. That's my flood. Yeah, me too, exactly, me too. I was actually um, inspired by, uh, by, I think it was on Pinterest, I believe on Pinterest, there was an image on Pinterest so I uh, decided to cookify it, and here we are. Hello, Trisha, New Jersey. Hello, AD. I guess uh, CA is California. How is the weather in California? So now we're doing polka dots. Let me um, let me pause for a second. When you're doing the polka dot pattern, how many of you are struggling with that? So. Um, let me back up for just for a set for uh, okay. So when I do polka dot pattern, whenever I'm trying to do it, I try to start my first polka dot somewhere in the center. Doesn't really matter. Like I mean, now we're doing a heart, but you could be doing a square or a round. So I try to start in the center because that's where your focal point is. And then I do the first line, and that first line determines everything because then you're gonna stagger your polka dot. So. 
see I'm doing the first line is going to, it's horizontal and then we're just going to build this pattern going up and then um, once I'm done with the with this section I'm going to move down and again I'm just going to stagger the polka dots and that that way you will have uh, evenly spaced out polka dots on your cookie and this was also wet on wet so now I'm using one of those lovely lips we did last week and just popping them carefully onto the wet icing you could also do this this is a dry on wet application you can also do this dry on dry meaning your base layer the polka dot layer would be dry and then you could uh, glue your transfers onto the cookie with the when i say glue i mean you would need a little bit of real icing on the back of the cookie so you would pipe just the dot of icing on there all right, let's see if we have any question. Oh, it's a coldly rainy day in California. That's what I thought. I thought that's what I thought. Hello. Thank you for being here. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Gail. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy. <laughs> Thank you, Sally. Yeah, the pink outline didn't ble really bleed over to the white, I think, because I try not to oversaturate my royal icing with excessive amount of food coloring. And also it was wet on wet. So, um, yeah, I'm lucky I didn't have that trouble. If you are experiencing heavy bleeding uh, with your royal icing colors, maybe you can... Um, figure out how to color your royal icing without using excessive amount of food coloring. And also it's really important that the icing dries fairly um, in, in, a, in a reasonably short time. If, you, if it's drying for 15, 20 hours, then it's a problem and it can uh, really um, what's, uh, exacerbate the, um, the bleeding. Okay, so let me bring up my, my third screen. <laughs> and to make the teal, um, you can use straight from a bottle teal. That's what I used. I use America, 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 <laughs> America color brand. <laughs> and um, if you don't have teal, you know how to make teal, right? So you would use uh, blue and some green to make teal. But straight from a bottle, it's a really nice color. So here, the same, I am using teal as outline and then filling in. You can see I'm really squeezing my piping bag when I'm going around that teal edge. I want to avoid having a gap between the pink and the teal so I don't have to use my scribe tool. Oops, around the edge. Sometimes uh, we can accidentally hit that teal and then it messes up the outline and it's not really pretty. Yes, I love my Snoopy necklace. I wear it all the time. It reminds me of someone special. So now we are dropping, we, I just dropped this. Um, I'm going to show you what it looks like, if you can see. I don't know if you can see in the screen. I will show you all of them. So it's very, very simple using the transfers. But like I said, these are small, small cookies. So I highly suggest that you use larger cookies to kind of um, make the transfers even pop a little more. Although I love the minis. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. This is slightly lighter teal. Also, when you're choosing your color palette, you don't have to use 50 different colors. You can use, um, like you, you see, I'm using basically two colors. Well, three colors. I'm using pink, teal, and white. And then I'm using two different shades of pink and two different shades of teal. We will also use uh, gray, but that's just for some lettering we will do later. See, I added a little more icing uh, around that edge, the border, and there's a little, like a bump there. I'm not too happy about that. But you can still fix it. You can use your scribe tool and kind of move that icing away a little bit so it's not 
in that one section and it's going to level really nicely. I also received a few pictures from you, Sherry. I think I have your pictures here. Yes, I will be sharing your lovely painted cookies later on. And those of, oh yeah, this was a nice, um, nice transfer, so flower bouquet. And I'm just going to, I'm using, I'm using tweezers so I don't mess up icing with my fingers. And then you can use your scribe to kind of like gently push it in if you see a section that is not fully attached to the icing. And once the top is crusted over or dry, you can use, um, this is a piping consistency icing and I'm using PME tip 1.5, a wonderful tip that is perfect for writing. And I think love is the easiest word to pipe with icing. <laughs> Do you guys agree? It is so easy, it just flows so nicely. So that was this design. And okay, let's see, we have a few comments. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you remember about my move. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Mwah, kisses. Thank you, June. Okay, I wanted to share with you. So Sherry sent me pictures of her painted cookies and I wanted to show you, I think you mentioned you made these for your grandson, if I remember correctly. So wonderful job, keep them coming. Aren't they adorable? I love the whole theme. Thank you for sending these. And if you have made some decorated cookies, don't hesitate to email me or message me and I will be happy to share them with the world. Also a reminder, um, this, this week I released a new tutorial in my Patreon group. And uh, if you are not a member of Patreon, you can always sign up through the link that I'm posting in the comment section. And this tutorial, step-by-step -step video tutorial with a, a narrated tutorial is available there. Okay. So now let's do, uh, we just did. Okay, this was just, I wanted to show you. Um, I already did the base and this is the lock uh, hard. What do we call this? I'm going blank, hard locket. So it's partially done. And we talked about last week about, uh, remember the mugs we did? So Kathy was asking if she could skip, um, if she could skip the handle and add the handle after. So that's what basically I'm doing now. I'm adding the very top, not because I didn't want to do it uh, when I was doing transfers, but because I forgot. But it it actually works out because this section would easily break off. So I'm adding it afterwards. Just make sure that the base layer, my teal layer, is uh, dry or at least crusted. And once it dries, we can then paint it. And that's what I will be doing. Um, will be doing now. So let me switch my cameras here at this one. And I'm just gonna remove this sheet if I can find a spot. Hopefully, it's not going to fall. All right, there you go. And last week I stopped at the local store here and I bought new gold. They didn't have the gold I, I normally use here. This is, it's, yeah, I tore it. So it's called the treasure gold. They didn't have the very, like the more, more of an Aztec gold, but this is lovely also. It's very shimmery and shiny. So um, I'm going to add a little bit of Everclear into my palette here. Uh, this is, it's the, it's, um, the product I'm using, it's a food grade edible uh, luster like dust. It has mica, um, mica particles in there, in there. So that's what makes it really shiny. And you can, you can use it in a dry form or uh, you can also uh, mix it with liquid. I am using alcohol, but there is also um, a non-alcohol activator available. I think a sweet sticks brand 
carries this product. Thank you, Judy. Yeah, you can, yeah, I love that too. Thank you, so glad that you, some of you like that idea. Okay, so now before you can paint anything with Gold Buster Dust, your base, your icing should be dry. Otherwise you can experience a pitting or your icing can start breaking down a little bit. But this is such a small section, it's really no trouble. See, it's already done. <laughs> But I was also thinking that you could you could put these on two separate cookies, like you know I'm giving you a key to my heart or something like that. Thank you, Mimi. Sally is kind of sad that Valentine's will be over soon. I'm not nearly done with the heart pun. Well. What's stopping you? Don't don't let the Valentine's Day day dictate your uh, your desire to make more hard cookies. In the beginning, when I was starting out, we didn't have a lot of cutters, so all I had was like a bunch of hard cutters, and I was decorating hearts all year long. Sally, I challenge you to me <laughs> to to make a hard cookie every every week. Yeah. Why not? You can you can really and hearts are also um, let's think about different different things we can do with hearts. I think if you turn it upside down, you can make a dog. I made cherries with a heart shape. Um, yeah, think about it and let me know. I want you to um, get um, some ideas out. Let me know. What do you think? Shamrock heart. Stick together, Sally. Yes, I like that. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm teasing you. You don't have to produce hard cookies every week, but you can, you could. <laughs> I'm sure you are, you are capable of it. That would be great on a double heart cookie. Yes. Oh, I love that idea, Karen. I love that. Yes, the carriage. Yes, you could also do that. Absolutely, yes. You could make so many things. If you, um, I'm just, yeah, my mind is brimming with ideas, but um, I don't want to share them all. All right, so let's let's go back to the decorating part. So where were we? All right, let's remove this screen. Oops. Okay, uh, I think I need to get here. <laughs> all right, and... Let's do the letter. So in the template, there are two, two sets. There is an open letter with hearts flowing out and there is a like a closed letter sealed with a heart. So I'm gonna show you how I decided to do the open letter. There's no, no outline, I'm just using teal, but I will be adding some uh, wet on wet hearts on this design. And then on the top, we'll be adding those piped hearts. And something just crossed my mind. If you wanted to really maybe speed up the process, if you don't want to spend too much time on outlining and, and filling in, you could dip the cookies and that would really uh, speed up the process. So now I paped three pink dots. And now I'm just using my scribe tool. I always, you don't see this in a, in a screen, on a screen, but I'm wiping the tip of my scribe tool so every time I run it through the heart, it's, it, I come in with a clean tip. Otherwise, I can uh, accidentally transfer some of the teal color that gets stuck on the tip into my heart shape. And I don't want to do that. Yes, absolutely. You can let me, let me just pause for a second. This is it. Oops, didn't pause. It's a good idea to do to use the heart for the penguin. And if you turn it upside down, and I think I've done that, you could also do a, like a snow or not, not even upside down snowman with, um, with the like with the arms open or something. And I did, um, yeah, you could do so many things. Maybe next week. Well, uh, yeah, I do. I next week I will tell you what's happening next week. Maybe after 
uh, in, in the next next live, I'll, I will share with you some of my very first cookies uh, where I did all hearts. Yes, bikini. Yes, also the the dress, right? The I think the dress, not, not the dress, but the, the what's it called? Like the corset or something like that could be done with a heart. All right, let's continue. <laughs> So you see, I use two different shades of pink. Now I'm dropping in that open letter with the heart. So the hearts are flowing out. Now we're just, oops, a little editing error. So now we we can add those hearts. <laughs> All right. I do have one more cookie. I've used hearts upside down. Yes, as bra, you could also do that. Absolutely. There's so many different things you can do, right? Excellent, excellent ideas. Bride and groom dress and yes, tax on hearts, butterfly wing. See, Sally, <laughs> every week one. So you already have like five weeks. And other things can come up. Yeah, you can do so many different things. I'm loving this. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. So, okay, let me um, let me bring up my screen, and we're we're gonna do uh, one one of these um i also did these lips so i thought i will do those um now okay let me bring this up let's see if i can figure out what i'm doing all right so i've got my lovely teal here So I'm anchoring my icing, lifting, lifting the piping bag just a little bit, and then going around. Oh, there is, I, I'm not liking this, okay? I can't really see well, so let me, I didn't, let me just remove this. Wasn't happy with that. And that's perfectly okay, we all make mistakes. You don't learn unless, unless you make mistakes. You really don't learn if you don't make mistakes, I have to say. Those lips are so nice and puffy. How did you get them like that? Oh, these, these were, um, oops, I used thicker icing for these, similar like with the heart. So like that soft piping consistency, oops, I can get the heart out. Oh. Where are all the hearts? So I used that thicker consistency and then I just wiggled it with my scribe tool to smooth it. So it wasn't like 20 seconds. It was, um, like I said, like that soft piping consistency where it still, it has a some, some, somewhat, um, it has a peak, but it falls down and it's just like really puffy. The hardest and most important part of learning a skill is ruining raw materials. Yeah, I'm sure with your woodworking, you 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 uh, had few uh, mishaps that you were not too happy about because wood is so expensive. It's um, unlikely a small, uh, you know, if you, if you break a transfer, it's not a big deal, but I understand that. But that's how we unfortunately learn. Yes, I do agree. We, you have to, um, yeah, we learn from mistakes. All right, so let's give this another try. <laughs> we did it okay now this is that the flat consistency you can see i'm squeezing it when i'm going around the edge gosh i hope i have enough icing in the bag it's like on the bottom you know that feeling it's like oh am i gonna have enough i'm gonna have to like make sure oh it's i think it's gonna be enough Okay, and now to move the icing faster, what you can do, you can use a thicker scribe, like this is that a two-in-one decorating tool, 
and it just moves the icing faster. Okay. And now let's add the lips. So you could just drop them in with your fingers, but I just, I struggle with that sometimes. Yeah, can you see? So this is dry on wet. My eyes, my transfer is dry and I'm adding it onto the wet, wet uh, base. Now, one thing I should say, if your base is black and you're adding um, light pink or white transfer, I wouldn't do that because that black is going to seep through that white or light color transfer. So I would do, in, in that case, I would do dry, dry on dry transfer. And then, um, I mean, it, it looks like it's fully submerged, but just to make sure, I'm just gonna give it a little notch here, just to make sure it sticks and that's it. I don't have a lip cookie cutter. What's wrong with me? Yeah, I know, Sally. We have to fix that. Around this time, there should be a lot of lips cookie cutters around, I think. Um, I really like the, the there are there's a different there are different brands, but I I think it was the Vilton that I really liked. Um, I think it was Vilton. I mean, you can check out there's so many different different uh, brands now. Thank you, Judy. So Jeremy, I thrown away entire bags of flour and sugar from baking errors. I can usually salvage something out of scrap wood. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Well, yes, <laughs> if I can think of all the accidents that happened in the kitchen, yes. And that's just the, yeah, that's just the nature of learning through errors. Um, I mean, I remember, I remember I made a chocolate cake and I forgot to put sugar in. I mean, um, so that everything, you know, like it, it, it's so many mistakes, but um, here we are. You always have volunteers to, to eat my rejects so nothing goes to waste. <laughs> and I'm sure volunteers think there's nothing wrong, but you see everything wrong, right? So I'm glad that nothing goes to waste, yeah. Thank you, Kathy. Yes, I try to prepare a lot of things in advance because it's just easier for my schedule. Um, and I'm so happy to be able to, when I'm able to do it also in real time. So um, you see that, um, you know, you don't have to be, I mean, the videos that I shared with you today, they were, uh, they were not sped up at all. They were the, like the speed I would decorate, but you don't, you know, there are some cuts here and there to, to make it um, a bit faster. So you don't see me, you know, changing the bag and so on. So thank you. I'm glad that you appreciate that. That's what the grandparent grandkids are for. Yes. Heather is afraid. Yes, we are, aren't we all? I have to tell you, I had my my third 40 hour uh, fast uh, today. I So um, intermittent fasting, it's amazing. It's amazing. Has anyone tried it? I know this is not cookie related, but you you mentioned everything going, to, yeah, going to the waste. And I've, I've, I've had that problem since I turned 40. Yeah, I, things are shifting. So I have to I have to work on it harder. Thank you, Camille. I hope you are doing well, Camille. I think of you often. And thank you so much for being here, everyone. Um, I have to say I have an, a, a sad announcement, I guess. I won't be here next week. We will I will be um, taking two weeks off because uh, I, I need to um, take a little break. But I will be back. Um, I guess that will be first week of uh, March, I think. Let me check. Uh, let me check. The, is it is it right? I think. I think. I'm um, sorry. I forget. I forget the time. So next week, yes. Oh no! It will be the last week of February. Yes, on the twenty. Yes, exciting because we have. I uh, re, um, earlier this month. I realized it's a leap year, so uh, I will be here. We'll I will see each other on the twenty eighth of February. Um, and what do you think, Colleen? I I I'm inter I'm curious.
Thank you, June. Thank you, everyone. Oh, it's your birthday, Margaret. Well, happy early birthday. Wow, can you imagine you were on the 29th? I wonder how people celebrate when they are born on 29th. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Heather, I think it was meant more and more like a, I think I took it as a, as a job because I, I mean, I am, I love sweets so much. <laughs> so um, I try, I, I, even when I'm like trying to diet, that's something I cannot um, just completely um, eliminate. I love sugar and I love sweets. So I will treat myself to some baked things and chocolate and things like that. Thank you, Camille. So happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Early happy happy Valentine's Day. And also um, happy uh, Dragon Year. It's coming up, I think, on February 10th. And your birthday is on Friday. So happy birthday. Happy birthday to all of you who are celebrating in the upcoming months or upcoming weeks and days. All right, everyone. I will see you uh, on February 28th. And um, I can't wait uh, to hear all about your Valentine's days. I hope you have a wonderful time. As always, you can support the live stream. Oops, wrong slide. You can support the live stream by signing up for the newsletter, joining Haniela's Cookie Club on Patreon. You can also join Coffee live stream membership. Always there is YouTube membership and you can always shop the templates and recipes. And like I mentioned in the beginning, we have the um, uh, shop wide sale of templates and everything is 30% off. When you download the free live stream recap newsletter, there is a direct link that automatically takes 30% off. And also those of you who are subscribed to my newsletter, in the last newsletter and i will also send a new newsletter on sunday you will get the link to the shop with the 30 percent off already uh, uh, taken off thank you colleen yes i'm i i've been i'm absolutely fascinated by by the whole whole thing i I've read so much about it, but I will check out the book you are recommending as well. Thank you, everyone. And you guys have a wonderful week. And I will see you soon. Bye.